Hey guys, happy Thursday. I hope you're all having a really good day today. <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I was just about to say, I'm feeling a lot better today. My voice is still a little bit hoarse, so please excuse me for that. Um, and I was going to film this video hours and hours and hours ago for you guys, but when I got off work, I decided to go with my sister Michelle to my sister Lauren's house and hang out with them and my niece and my nephew. And then afterwards, we went shopping and kind of just wandered the mall near my sister's place, which is a three-story mall, so that was fun. It was quite the adventure. And here we are now. So what I had originally planned on filming for you guys today is still what I'm going to film. Um, I think I might have had a lot more opinions on it when I first applied my makeup today. But let's just get into it. So this video is a first impressions video. Um... Not too long ago, I ordered off of the Sephora website, and the first thing I got was the Sephora uh, Contour Long Lasting Blush in the shade Tranquil, which is like kind of a grayish brown, and it was on clearance, it was half off. I've been wanting this color for a while, you read all the reviews and it says it's the perfect contour for fair skin, and it makes it look like there's a shadow there and everything. Guys, look how taupe this is. This is like so gray and against my skin, which I'm kind of surprised, it looks almost purple. So I did try to contour with it earlier today, but maybe I need a different brush than what I usually use because it looks okay now after hours of being there. I kind of went over it with my normal bronzer, but it's it's as ashy as it looks. Um, you know, it made me look kind of dirty, I think, honestly, which I was disappointed by because as I said, I've heard this is like the perfect shade for contouring fair skin. I'm pretty pale. But I didn't think that was particularly flattering on me. So that was kind of a flop. But, you know, it was super, super cheap because it was half off and they're affordable to begin with. So I didn't really lose anything. The next thing I have here, I've only worn one of the colors. But I don't know, you guys. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration Nicole Guerrero glow kit. And the packaging is lovely. It's got glitter, like in this pink packaging and her name is all holographic on here um I knew this one was made in China when I purchased it but I decided to try it out anyway because I watched some YouTube reviews from um people that I really really trust and those YouTubers gave it a really good review and I haven't worn any of the colors except one the one I tried is this one right down here called forever lit um which came kind of cracked, but I repressed it back in there. I think it's fine now. This one has an amazing iridescence to it. I mean, they are like Glitter City, which I don't think some of the YouTubers talked about, which kind of surprises me. So first of all, when I touch it, I don't know if you can see because my lighting is BS, but let's see if we do it like that. Can you see that it's like chunky on my finger? Because I can see that. So then when I swatch it on my hand, it's like... And remember, I did not swatch this in stores. I just was like, I watched the reviews and I ordered it. When I swatched it on my hand there, you can see it's really luminescent. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, I'm whatever I am. But on the cheeks, it didn't it just look kind of ashy to me. I mean, I don't know. It's probably like better with a brush. I put it on earlier and it looked really ashy. And I went over it with Lori Geller Gilded Honey because I just thought it didn't like sit on my skin prettily. Um, I guess we could swatch the other colors since we're here. I know you guys have already seen this, but I'll give you my opinion on the rest of the shades that are in here. Um, the top one here is called Kitty Cat, and you know, you guys have probably already watched other videos on this just like I did, but we'll try them out anyway just because I don't know what they're like. Um, Kitty Cat swatch is nicer than Forever Lit, I will say that. It kind of has um, like a pink to gold duochrome effect in it. Uh, the next one next to Kitty Cat is called Forever Young right here. And let's see. I'll try to swatch this part of my arm so that it doesn't like twist around so funny. It's, I'm still, I fail at this, you guys. I'm bad at this. Um, okay, so Forever Young right there. It's pretty similar to Kitty Cat, only it doesn't have the gold undertone to it. The next one is kind of this peachy shade here called Daydream. Ah. And that's pretty. I think that would be too dark for my face, probably. But it would look pretty on the eyes. It's really pretty, regardless. The one next to Forever Lit, which I already swatched for some reason, is Glow Getter. 
So that one, oh, there it is on the finger. Here's all, I'm, I'm not doing a very good job of this. I don't even care. It's late and I have to get up super early. But I wanted to share these with you and give you my first impressions. So there's Glow Getter swatched. And I have to say swatched on the arm with my finger. These perform beautifully. And the last one is 143 down here. Um, so they do have a ton of glitter in them. There it is on my finger. They're super glowy in the pan. They're super glowy when you swatch them on your arm. Like, look at that shine. Um, like I said, on the face, the only one I actually wore was Forever Lit, and I didn't really, I didn't really like it, um, just as far as how it sat. Um, this is the brush I usually apply highlighter with. This is the Morphe M438 brush. I'll just go back into Forever Lit and I'll apply some for you guys so you can see. Like, it's glowy, but I don't know. Something about the color, it's like too stark. Should we try a different one on the other side? Let's try Forever Young on this side just since we're here. I can't even see it, but I already have a highlight on and this one's kind of the same color as my skin. Can you guys see it? Oh, now I can. Go back and forth like four times. I'm like, do you see it? Am I highlighted? Yeah, I can I can see it. Okay, when I'm up here, I'm like, hello. That's a lot of highlight. It's a good thing I'm about to go take a shower because I brought it down really low. But that's... Okay, so other than Forever Lit, the rest of them do kind of like go a little nicer into the skin. That's, that's some highlight right there. Even that, that's some highlight. <laughs> I'll have to play around with it a little bit more. I will, um, you know, either like spray it with a setting spray or blend it out or something. But there's all the shades swatched on my arm. Um, you know, it was limited edition. If you can get behind the fact that it was made in China, it's it's worth what you pay for it, I guess, because there's a lot of colors in there. But and there's something for everybody. But did I need it? Absolutely not. Am I happy I have it? Who knows yet. I like those Dior ones that are like $56 a piece, but that's kind of crazy. Anyway, you guys, my voice sounds awful. I feel ridiculous. So I'm going to go take a quick shower and pass out, but I love you all so much. I thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, if you like highlight, you know. Let me know what you guys like. Would you rather I do like a first impressions video where I'm like touching stuff for the first time or do like a I've worn it and there's what I think about it? Do you want both? I'm just curious, like, what format would be most entertaining for you guys. So, sorry, I got distracted by something that was out of place. So, yeah, subscribe if you'd like, leave a comment, and, um, you know, I'll make them the way you guys want them. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.